How are you watching Capic Productions video? And today is Thursday, so another quick tip video for you guys. And today I'm going to be showing you how to clear some hard drive space up on your computer. Um, I'm not talking about like going through your programs and figure out what you don't want or deleting any personal files. This is a few ways to go around that and still clear up some hard drive space. Uh, your first step is going to clear your temporary application data. Um, this is actually in a hidden folder, so first off you need to go to folder options. Just type it in the start menu, it should come up, and if you're on XP, you need to go to start, control panel, folder options. Click on the view tab here, and under hidden files and folders, make sure you click show hidden files, folders, and drives. Press OK. Navigate to the main partition of your computer, mine is the C drive. You're going to click users, what a, my your username. And you should see a lightly colored folder here called app data. And that's um, lightly colored because it's hidden, and you wouldn't be able to see it unless you just did that. So um, go ahead and click on local, and then down to temp, and you should have probably a lot more files in there than I do. I just deleted mine. I just opened up my second pen to prove that. And it's probably a couple hundred megabytes worth of files that you do not need. It's files that your applications have dumped there in the past and just didn't delete itself. So that can build up for years, it can get up to multiple gigs, um, I'd say you probably get maybe 50 megabytes per month of application data that doesn't get deleted, um, so that's really important to do. Next step is disk cleanup. There's an option in Windows called disk cleanup, just make your start menu and uh, type in disk cleanup. It'll ask you what drive you want it on, press OK for uh, whatever drive. Then it's going to stay on your system and another menu is going to pop up and it's going to ask you all this stuff you want to clear. Um, my total is 44 but that's because I just cleared all my stuff, like temporary internet files. Um, yours could be a lot more, it really depends on when the last time you did this is. So it's good to do that, I already did mine like two minutes ago so I can click cancel. Next step is actually, it's an optional thing to do but it can save up to a couple gigs on your computer. Um, your computer automatically has a system restore and it's for if something ever goes wrong with Windows it'll restore it to that point on your computer. Mine, the last time it was restored was on the 30th, I think it restores every like four days or something like that. Now that's a personal choice of mine to keep it restoring like that. A lot of people don't really even care, so for the people that don't care, go ahead and do this. Um, click start, right click on computer, go to properties, and you see advanced system settings or yeah on that go to the system protection tab click on uh, whatever drive you want to uh, not make the uh, system restore on click the configure button right here and click turn off system protection and click the delete button which deletes your most previous system restore which can be up to like a gig or a couple gigs and then uh, click apply or OK I'm gonna click cancel like I said I would like my system restore to stay on uh, thank you for watching this Cafe Productions tutorial. I hope this benefits you in the greatest way. Subscribe for more.